Hi, it's Joanne, and welcome back to my flip through. I think this journal is going to be called Fear Not, and this is courtesy of the Hopeful Bird on Etsy. I bought a journal from her, and it came with all this extra stuff, and I just utilized it. Whenever I get extra stuff, I utilize it. Whether it's packaging, yeah, I've got a lot of people do that. So, this was the easiest cover ever to do. I had this wonderful file folder in this Van Gogh picture, and I just sewed it on to a really pretty pic uh, fabric that I got from Boho Tree. So what it looks like here and here and here there we go nothing um, except for just the fabric I just felt like the fabric spoke for itself and it didn't need much help so I also felt like it didn't need pockets because I just didn't want to cover up this lady so I have my um, painted Hand painted um, work that I did a few weeks ago, and I just clipped that on there. This is from a book. Oh, I think it's a feed sack book. It's a feed sack book. Yeah, that's what it is. It has Brad's boots. My favorite of all times, uh, Tim Holtz. Can't find any more of it. Um, washi tape, it's a cloth, it's so precious. This is just a little um, pretty, I like the colors from, from the Nutcracker, my little golden book. Dictionary. It is 10.30 at night, so I am stumbling on my words, but this, I love this. My son, Brad, and my other son, this is from 20... 17 and they asked me if there was anything that they could do to help this is Thanksgiving so I have it next to that card okay so I've got some pictures here that come, came from some magazines and I've got some really old um, accordion piano accordion music paper and I have Miss Dixie's letter in here. This is a recent purchase from um, Rose Hill Paper Cottage. This is somebody's that I know. This is their um, GPA report card. That's what it is. I did a little stamping. I did a video. Um, my last video I did of this these pages. And this is a little pocket. I need to leave some writing journaling space because I get all caught up in decorating and then I forget. We need to write in our journals too. They're not just supposed to be pretty. So that's the center. And let's see. This really old papers. Um, another Miss Dixie's um, letter, and I did read one. And it is from 
somebody who really loves her. Your true lover, Marion Marvin Rook. That's from 1905. So that's really cool, huh? Look at that. And now 1903, a two cent stamp. things never will forget. And some journaling opportunities and some nice colors. This is the um, see, three A's and a B. Yes, it's from one of my family members. Let's see, what copyright? 1948, 1951. I included a napkin here for some decoupaging. I've done some decoupaging with that and it's really beautiful. And this is one of my old time favorites, Mary Inglebright. This is just a little collaging area that I set up. Some um, more packaging from that hopeful bird. I love these colors. They're just so nice and vibrant. And here's another sweet little thing from my daughter's homework. I just thought this was the sweetest thing. And this was my um, mixed media band work. And that, my friends, is the end of this flip through. Just, I just needed to do it. You know, when you just need to create, I just needed to do it. So, I hope you enjoy that, and thanks for your support and your kind words, and I will see you in the next one.